In this video, we'll be downloading and installing Codex and setting up our working local development environment. We'll start off by heading off to codex.com download and downloading the latest version of Codex for our operating system. We'll proceed to install it by dragging Codex into our Applications folder. And once that finishes, we'll proceed to close our window, eject the installer just to clean up, and we can close this window. We'll open up Codex by opening the launcher using the F4 key and typing out Codex. The first time it'll ask us if we're sure we want to open it, we will of course agree. And we now see the Codex login screen for the first time. If you already have a Wix account, you can use that to sign in. If you don't, you can follow the steps to create a brand new account in order to log in. Once we have logged in, the first thing we'll see is a quick survey that we can answer, but this time we'll choose to skip. And then our missing required tools prompt, which lets us know that we need to install both Node and Git on our operating system. We'll follow the links in order to download Node.js and run its installer. We'll proceed through the various steps of the installer, accepting its terms and running the installation. And with that, we have successfully installed Node on our machine. We can clean up after ourselves again. Next, we'll proceed to install Git. The recommended way of installing Git is by installing another tool called Homebrew. So we'll do that first, copying a command from its homepage, opening the terminal once more using F4, and pasting the command and hitting enter. It'll ask for our password, we'll enter it in, and press enter once more. This installation will take a couple of minutes. Now that we have successfully installed Brew, we can continue with the installation of Git. So we'll go back to our Git homepage and we'll copy this short three word command, brew install Git, copying it and pasting it once more into our terminal already open. We'll hit enter and let it run. And with that, we have successfully installed Git as well. We can close up the terminal, close Codex, and relaunch it once again. This time, it will recognize all of our available dependencies and proceed to the project picker. Happy codexing.